What's going on everybody? So today we're going to be going over a vintage Explorer that I found on the bay um, for a pretty good price. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, the only thing that was in the description was that the main blade is sort of just been used a lot. And from what I saw, it didn't look too bad. And all the other tools, um, he didn't have a picture of the scissors, so I didn't know. Uh, whoever, um, I didn't know if, uh, the scissors were still intact and everything like that. So I, uh, I sent this, um, person a message and asked if the scissors were still in working condition and if they had like a screw on it or the, uh, pivot like, uh, the modern scissors have now. Um, so yeah, this is a vintage Explorer. Um, I wish I would have brought my... Swiss champ out here to show you some minor differences. I might do that. I'll be right back. All right. So, yeah, I went and grabbed the Swiss champ pretty much. I don't have a modern explorer. Um, I was going to get a modern explorer, but um, I just found this older one um, for a really good price. And the newer ones are like 50 bucks, I think, like 50 to 56 and yeah i found this for like 40 so i found it like 10 dollars off it's old it was in really good condition but now i don't even want to like use it that much because it's just not even that it's like it can be worth anything but it's just i don't want it to like break or anything i don't know it's just cool to look at and handle i guess but um we got to jump into it so first off let's look at the magnifying glass so this is the old style magnifying glass you get the uh, gray surrounding um, the actual glass, which is an eight times magnification. And the newer one is just, excuse me. Sorry, I had coffee and I drank it like really fast. But um, yeah, the gray, so the lens is smaller on this one and then the lens is bigger on this one. Let's turn it around this way, I guess. As you can see, and so you have more, uh, you know, field of view with the larger one, but it has um, less magnification. It actually is only five times, and the gray, the one on the left, um, is eight times magnification. So that's still, it's cool. I mean, I guess technically the gray one would be better for starting like fires and stuff, like using the sun and everything, just because it's magnified more. And smaller, so it'll make it even uh, a tinier, like, focus point for that, uh, to start a fire and everything. Um, but I had no problem starting a little dude with this when I freaking first got it. I was like a kid, bro. <laughs> that was fun. I have a little rock, like this big-ass boulder outside, and I just went to that and started lighting, like, little leaves and stuff on fire. Never, never been one to, like, harm ants and stuff. Um, I don't know. I've never... Wanted to just kill things for fun, I guess. Unless it's hunting, you know, that's... Hunting is fun to me. Anyways, let's let's get back to it. Um, but yeah, so this one is just easier to, like, look through and everything. It's really not that bad. I like it. It's actually a lot nicer to use with your phone camera to look at things up close than this one. Um, I can probably put a little video in there uh, of showing them both out. But, um... Yeah, so, and then the next difference, I know this is a Swiss Champ and this is an Explorer, but the modern Explorer has the modern tools on the Swiss Champ, so we're using that as the comparison, and then we'll go to the uh, Phillips. Bro, I love the inline driver, that is my, that's my stuff right there, but as you can see, it's longer on the old one, um, and a little skinnier, and this is just a little bit finer of a uh, Phillips than right here. You can see it kind of just um, bellies out a little bit more, which this does work really well in Phillips screws. I've used this already. I haven't used this for any Phillips screws, but in the forums, I've read that this is like an odd shape. Like it doesn't fit in many uh, um, Phillips screws, but I don't know. I haven't even used it still. So. But yeah, that's that. Um, and then the scissors. Yeah, also, you can see um, 
everything still has pretty good snap. Um, it's sluggish going down, but um, it still has pretty good snap. And then the magnifying glass, that's plastic, and it still snaps good, you know? So, that's cool. Let me show you the blade, though. Sorry about my dog eating. He, uh, he doesn't like the food we got him. It's like chicken and rice, and he likes lamb and rice. So he will not eat his food forever and then just eat it every once in a while, I guess, throughout the day. You can't find no lamb and rice Purina anywhere, bro. But, um, yeah, he's a spoiled guy. He's, he's chubby. But, um, you can see, wait, yeah. You can see that this was slightly bent. Yeah. And pretty scratched up and used. You can't really see the bend in it. Yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah, you can see it pretty good. It was a lot worse when I got it, but I just sharpened it up, and it took most of the bend out. So it really wasn't that bad. Um, and it's got the old Tang stamps, which is very neat. And, um, <clears throat> the, uh, oh shoot, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, I don't even know. But, oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. Maybe. Something about the scissors, probably. Yeah. The scissors, they have the screw, as you can see. Um, and they're still fantastic. They work great. Bro, you can clean up Swiss Army knives, any, any, any amount of gunk on them, and they just come out brand new, I swear. Unless they've been like, Jackson, shh, chill. Unless they've been, like, abused, man. Like, um, the blade snapped off or they just used it for some prying that just wasn't supposed to be done. But, uh, yeah, this thing is in great condition. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. How old it is. So, the reason we know how old it is is because of this right here. This doesn't have a 90-degree stop. It just goes to full 180. Um... You can tell if things have 90 degree stops because they have a little nub, such as, yeah, such as this right here. You can see that tiny little nub right there, and in which this does not have. So, that's how it makes it half stop. Um, the half stop puts it between, well... 80s i'm pretty sure and then um the the uh, parcel hook on the back it doesn't have one so it puts it in before 91 and uh so yeah and it's got the fluting the decorative corkscrew so yeah it's all like very early 80s to mid 80s jackson chill <laughs> but yeah it's all like early 80s to mid 80s <laughs> The uh, all also doesn't have the uh, sewing eye. Um, it's a little wobbly, but it still does the trick. But yeah, this was overall a great find, guys. This is awesome. I love to have this um, vintage Explorer. Um, the main reason I wanted to get the modern Explorer, I guess you could say, is because um, it has it has the part the uh, parcel hook on the back. Um, and I like having plus scales and being able to have a pen to write with. Um, so, yeah, this doesn't have a hook, so you can't... I didn't even put plus, plus scales on it. Excuse me. So, yeah, that's the only thing. That would be awesome. This would make it perfect just to have the plus scales like the modern one. But there's nothing wrong with this. Um, what else do we have here? Nothing really, um, but yeah, the plus scales, I took the plus scales off my Swiss Champ, put them on my climber, um, I'm not really trying to write with this big chunky dude, whatever, you know, like, it's just uncomfortable, so I just take the plus scales off of that, put it on my climber, um, and then I just carry a compact around with, uh, whatever else Swiss Army knife I want to carry of the day, um, but yeah, so this is just going to go in my, my box, keep it nice and 
well as good uh, shape as it can be. And uh, yeah, I'll probably get a modern um, Explorer just to use because I do like having the plus scales and the pen. And I, I like the multi-purpose hook. Like the parcel hook, I don't mind that at all. So um, tell me your guys' opinion on the multi-purpose hook. Uh, if you would rather have that or the uh, just like a regular awl. Like I, I like the all I like I like pretty much all the back tools, you know, like on a ranger. I like all the back tools. So it's not too bad. But yeah, that was pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. Um that's been my little ramble about the vintage explorer. Um I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.